Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another Black Series figure review. Very excited about this one. This is probably one of my most highly sought after ones uh, for me personally uh, this year, so, or since the announcement. It is Cassian Andor. And uh, yeah, obviously season two very quickly approaching. Um, yeah, I just, I love Cassian as a character. I think he's fantastic. I think this outfit looks absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, really looking forward to busting this one open and having a look. It is based on his appearance right at the start of Rogue One on the Ring of Kafreen. And, uh, yeah, the fact that this is revealed to be in Andor, you know, we're, we're going to really link up with, with Rogue One between the end of Season 2 of Andor, which is going to finish the series, and we do know that it's going to bleed straight into Rogue One, so I'm, I'm very excited this is a great looking Cassian. Um, yeah, it's going to take a lot to be tempted to grab the head sculpt off of this one and grab some extras and, and give it to the old Cassian. Because, yeah, this one looks absolutely fantastic. But, um, yeah, I just love that sort of underground. Especially after playing Star Wars Outlaws recently, I like that sort of underworld sort of feeling that the Ring of Kafreen gave at the start of Rogue One. And, yeah, this Cassian figure doing the same thing. Yeah, he's number 10. You know, sort of that almost blood orange look. Looks good. Great picture of uh, Cassian on the side. But enough about the packaging. Let's bust him open and have a look at Cassian. All right, folks. Here's Cassian out of the packaging. Great looking figure. This is the fifth version of Cassian and or we've had in the Black Series. So tell me you've had enough looks. <laughs> you know... We've uh, we've got five Cassians now, which is which is cool. We've had uh, the Edu Edu version, which was the first release. Then we had the three pack uh, Cassian from Rogue One, which got a release a re release in when it got the photo reel. Uh, we have the first season one and or version and the Aldani mission version as well. So as always, we're going to go through the accessories. He's got here. He's got himself here a little, a little pistol, which is freaking cool. And the, the silver details on this gun, you know, that's really nice. Love the sculpted sort of the wraps around the handle. Really nice little weapon, to be honest. The tiny little details. Again, this Cassian is pretty much depicting him from the Ring of Kafreen at the start of Rogue One, so. Only thing he's missing is his gloves. I'm sorry, it's just my gloves. And we also have this. <laughs> just stay there, dude. Just, just stay. So we get this part of the uh, the blaster again. This is the one that you can actually extend with the Edu one. You can put the uh, the extension on. And uh, K2 mentions in uh, Rogue One. He says he did have it in the sniper configuration. So that's kind of cool. Again, nicely painted. Looks good. That one will fit in his holster, I think. So that's sort of made for that bigger holster. So yeah, there we go. All right, let's get a look at the man himself. Look at that head sculpt, guys. Seriously, that is freaking remarkable. That is absolutely unreal. That is just dead on likeness to to Diego Luna I think that's just absolutely remarkable now just quickly side by side this is the uh the second release of this version and I thought that was good and it is don't get me wrong it is good but my by golly <laughs> they come a long way in such a short period of time but yeah this one here is definitely still nice but man Boy, oh boy, that's fantastic. Now, again, I love this outfit. I just love the sort of the underground, you know, Rebel Spy, the jacket, you know. It all sort of comes from, you know, all stems from Han Solo and his vest, his smuggler's vest and everything that sort of followed after that, just sort of built on it. You know, this sort of, I don't know, this sort of shoulder, this sort of mismatched colour on the shoulder and... There's sort of little design aspects that just scream Star Wars, you know. 
We have the sort of the ribbed collar, which follows down along the side of the sleeve there of the jacket. And I love this, this piece is, you could remove this and he's just got a plain sort of black shirt underneath, which is a little glossy, but you can't see it, so it's fine. But maybe that could be a sign of things to come with a certain, certain a new hope smuggler. Maybe that's a maybe that's a little bit of a base there, but maybe not. Maybe not. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, loving the details of the uh, of the jacket, little zippers and well, they're not zippers. You're not meant to have zippers in Star Wars, but apparently there is one. It's the little pipes and hoses, little greebling, greebly bits as they call it, around the back. Looks nice. Down to the belt. And a nice set of extra paint or details on the back there, but on the front we've got the silver buckle. The strap around the leg. Looks pretty solid to me. Looks good. It's not going anywhere. And down the legs to the feet. Love the look of the buckles over the over the top of the shoes, over the boots. Real nice detail. A little bit of paint on them too, so there's just that sort of almost a gunmetal sort of look to it. Really nicely done. Bit of the head sculpt is uh, where this figure definitely shines. I like the messy hair, the sculpt of the hair. That's a separate part of the head, so. Even the uh, the sort of the five o'clock shadow, which <laughs> has definitely seen worse days, if you remember the uh, 2015 Poe Dameron. By golly, and that could do with a with a redo, couldn't it? But yeah, I think they're absolutely got it nailed down this time. Just that sort of stubble on the cheeks looks really nice. Yeah, pretty blown away by this one, to be honest. Really, really looking forward to seeing him in action again. Articulation-wise, he's got the uh, the ball joint in the top of the head, ball joint in the neck as well. As you can see, a little bit of extra collar there as well. Ball hinges in the shoulders. He does have slight butterfly joint in there. So you get a little bit of mo extra movement, you get those arms to sort of pivot out a bit, which is always nice. Ball hinges in the elbows. Winches in the wrists, this one goes in and out. This trigger one goes up and down. He's got a torso joint at the just above the belt. Ball and sockets in the hips. No thigh articulation. This ball hinge in the knees gets a good range of movement. Ball hinge in the ankles again, great range of movement, and that rocker joint in the foot to get a sort of pivot side to side. So giving him those wide stances. And I'm just going to give him his, his other little pistol. And then we'll do the, uh, the peg test on the stand to see how this guy holds up. Literally. So I think we're going for a good one here. This is going to be successful. No. So there we go. Nice and firm on the stand. Foot is flat. Looking good. And next to his Rogue One counterpart there. Fantastic. Um, yeah, really loving this. This Cassian, he looks absolutely fantastic. Really nice addition. Between him and him and Dedra. Being the new additions to to Andor, to the Andor line, I definitely look ready to see some more. I hope we get to do that in the very near future. Especially with the uh, new season coming out next year. Love to see a, a Bail Organa or, you know, I don't know, Luthen, Luthen in his uh, alternate outfit when he's running the... Uh, running the shop but yeah love love to hear your thoughts let me know what you think down in the comments below i appreciate to hear from you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it 
subscribe if you're new and we'll see you all again for some more Star Wars toy reviews very very soon until then may the force be with you always we would be honored if you would join us